Hi, this is Dr. Duke, Academic Director of Freedom Project Academy, where we will never, under any circumstances, take one penny of state or government money, and we will absolutely allow no Common Core into our curriculum ever. You have our guarantee on that. And I'd like to introduce you to uh, the second in our series of videos on the obscurity, the inanity, the Byzantine nature of Common Core math. Once again, I'd like to introduce Mary Black, a 45-year teacher of math at all levels, really, uh, to give you a sense of how long division is done, both the standard traditional way, very simple, very effective, very basic, and then the incredibly uh, labyrinthine common core methodology which is designed to confuse kids and provide them absolutely nothing they're going to need moving forward for higher math. Let's divide 188 by 4 in the traditional manner taught in FPA's third and fourth grades. We can't divide 1 by 4, so we divide 18 by 4. There are four fours in 18. We put the 4 over the 8, multiply 4 times 4, and put the 16 under the 18. We subtract 16 from 18 and get 2. Then we bring down the 8 and have 28. 4 goes into 28 7 times. Put the 7 over the 8 and multiply 7 times 4 to get 28 finished. Common Core teaches students to use strategies to find answers to division problems. Let's look at the four strategies taught to fourth graders. The first is modeling. In this method, we find the answer by placing equal amounts of the 188 into four circles. Students have to guess at how to figure the equal amounts and have to keep track of the amount distributed. Look at the illustration. Multiples of tens, fives, and twos were used. The answer to 188 is found by counting the amount in a circle. The second strategy is skip counting. We need to find how many multiples of four are in 188. A likely starting place might be 4 times 25, since it is easy to think that 4 quarters equal a dollar. Look at the illustration as we count the multiples. We start at 25 with 100 and continue until we count 188 as a 47th multiple. 47 is the answer to 188 divided by 4. The third strategy is multiplication. We use easy multiplication facts to find the answer to 188 divided by 4. In the illustration, you see that the multiple of 10 was used 4 times to get 160. And multiples of 5 and 2 were used to obtain the remaining 28. To find the answer, we add up the multiples we used. I emphasize at this point the guesswork involved in these strategies, as well as the length of these solutions. Next strategy is called the Big Seven because of the Big Seven used in this strategy. Notice the use of easy multiples and the adding up of the multiples on the right hand side to find the answer. Different and lengthy strategies make something easy, complicated, and difficult to remember. Use of calculators is strongly encouraged with Common Core Math, but this leaves our students dependent and unable to do arithmetic on their own. It's differences like these that really highlight the difference between classical education as provided by FPA and the kind of stuff that goes on in the public schools. Visit us at fpeusa.org.